Hey everybody, welcome back. Got another video for you guys today. Uh, if you could see by the title of the video, that should be a big hint. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're having good luck with all your gardening and all your projects. And let's get on with today's topic. Can you grow grapes in an aquaponics system? I'm pretty sure you can. Let's go check it out. But first, I think we need to feed these fish. So let's uh, set the camera up here and see if we can feed them. Get it on video here. Got some fresh lettuce. It's falling apart. Looks like the fish are enjoying that. So we'll get some over here in this fish tank as well. They rather like that stuff. <laughs> Watch them tearing it up down there. All right, I'm not gonna make you watch me feed the fish for five minutes. Let's get on with today's topic. Can you grow grapes in an aquaponics system? And the answer is yes and yes. As you can see here, why this very large plant. So it started off as a small guy. It was probably only about that tall. And as you can see here, it's spread out quite a bit. And it's about eight feet tall up here. I'm six foot one. It's about a foot and a half or two feet taller than I am. And then we've got some more over here. Growing up along here. So my plan is to weave the grapes in and out of here to provide a shaded area. And then if we come over here and look, we actually have some, what look like, uh, I guess, grape flowers. It's kind of windy out right now, hopefully. Can't really get it to focus on that for me, but let's see if we can try it again here. All right, I guess the camera doesn't want to focus. There's some weird, something weird going on. But anyways, there are some uh, flowers growing in there. So we might get some fruit this winter. We'll see what happens. And my asparagus over here. Asparagus is also something you can grow in aquaponics. You just have to be patient. Anyone that's ever grown it will know that. And then over here, we've got a bunch of small brassicas planted. Over here, we did have a bunch of uh, leafy greens planted. Looks like some of them got eaten by insects. That one's missing. That one's missing. That one's missing. And a couple more over here. And I haven't filled out the rest of the bed yet. The plants aren't big enough. But once they are, I will be filling in that whole area. And then over here, we've got the floating raft. We have some plants over here. The rest of them seem to have been eaten by bugs or just didn't make it. This one died. This one's still going. We got some back there that are going. And that's all right if they do die. I've got plenty more Asian greens and leafy greens and all that good stuff. And I guess we'll go check the tomatoes out while we're over here. They're doing wonderful. Got these guys single stem. So we got some good clusters. I'm not sure why this thing's not focusing. It's uh, very strange. There's, we've been having issues with this phone for a while now. I did order another one because it is under warranty. So hopefully that'll resolve it. I'm having to use a lapel mic because the built-in microphone uh, has some weird sound coming out of it. So we do have a lot of fruit on here, a lot. So we'll have a good, uh, good tomato season this winter here in Arizona. We got some more here. Looks like uh, that one's got a boo boo on it. 
Got them single stemmed all the way up here. That's about eight feet tall, maybe a little bit taller. And just loaded up with tomatoes. So have a good harvest and lots of fresh tomatoes to eat. And I'll go show you guys where I'm getting my seedlings for my lettuce. Right here. So I've got these all planted in. A mixture of some radishes and whatnot in the solar powered aquaponics system. We've got about 20 seconds left, so we better wrap this up. So, uh, all right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, keep building and try to be good to each other. We're not here for very long. Uh-oh, upcoming video.